Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, my name is Plumby, and today I am bringing you all a new Plum Townies creator sim, finally I've got a couple people asking me when is the next one going to be out, so I decided to throw it in the poll for the channel members and Plum Townies did win the poll, so I thought that I would of course post one today, I am so excited to be back with another Plum Townies and I am excited because this is probably my favourite household that I have created in this series so far. This is the Bumblebee household and as you can tell from the title they are beekeepers. This idea just popped into my head when I opened up Creatism and I thought it would be perfect for a Plum Townies Creatism and it definitely was. I had such a fun time doing it and I'm really really proud of the household that I created today and I'm, I'm in love with them. They are just awesome. So this is a Creatism series of mine where I create non-CC sims for you to add into your game who would fit in as a townies or background sims and kind of sort of NPC type of characters. You can get your sims to marry these sims, to befriend them, they're kind of just made to be like townies really, to just kind of fit in in the background and that is was kind of my goal with this. So as I said they are custom content free so if you do not have custom content you can still add them in your game because I used to none of it. As I did say today I created the Bumblebee household and I created Beatrice Bumblebee and Bertie Bumblebee who are of course both beekeepers and they are so wholesome and so sweet like I love them both ever so much they're such lovely sims that I just I adore them as I said they are my favorite plum townies that I have created so far they are just a very loving couple they really love each other and they're just really friendly open-hearted that's even a word open-hearted I'm not too sure but it sounds like it is so they are open-hearted <laughs> and they live in Brindleton Bay right next to the sea although of course you can put them anywhere in your in any world I like to imagine that they are living on the beach in Brindleton Bay and they're just a really a, a lovely they're lovely people they're lovely people to say the least although they are pretty similar they do still have different hobbies to each other and I thought that we could of course talk about them individually because they're still different to each other starting off with Beatrice Bumblebee so Beatrice's aspiration is to be a collector she loves collecting things whether it be seashells or rocks or crystals she just loves collecting things she loves just putting them all around the house um she's not too into fishing her and Bertie aren't too into fishing but on the off occasion that she does fish she always makes sure to frame that fish and put it up on the wall because she just loves to collect things and have them on display all over their little house which is probably a very rustic one I'm a bit tempted to do a build for it because I have this image in my in my mind of how it would look <laughs> she's also very cheerful Beatrice is always smiling no matter what she always has a huge smile on her face and she'll always cheer you up no matter what she also loves the outdoors she loves spending time outside. Summer is her favourite season and when it rolls around she always just goes for long walks on the beach just relaxing and spending as much time outdoors as possible. She just loves love loves the outdoors. She's also an animal enthusiast. Of course she loves bees so much but she also really really does love chickens and every animal really although they only have bees and chickens on their on their lot um she really does love all animals but especially bees and chickens beatrice is a very loving person if i could give her another trait i would give her the family oriented trait she'd make like the most perfect mother ever and her and bertie really do want kids and they're hoping to have children one day just right now they're very very busy taking care of their three cats and of course the chickens and the bees but they do hope to have a child one day and i think beatrice would be the perfect mother because she's a very family oriented sim she always has been she grew up in a very loving family and she kind of wants to pass that down and that is Beatrice she's very sweet very wholesome I should have probably pulled up her likes and her dislikes oh I just remembered one she really likes um, knitting she loves knitting so much it's what she does when the evening rolls around and she can't be outside she just does some knitting she's also really into gardening although they aren't like huge gardeners they only really grow a couple of vegetables and herbs and some flowers but that's about all and usually Beatrice does all the gardening because Bertie doesn't really like it too much. Speaking of Bertie, let's actually move on and start talking about him now. He is so wholesome. I know wholesome is going to be like the, the buzzword or whatever for um <laughs> the main word for today's creator sim, but he is so wholesome. I love him so much. He's such a sweet looking sim and I, I had this image of him in mind and I feel like he came out so perfectly and so close to, to how I imagined him to be. He is 
really similar to Beatrice, but as I said, they are quite different. His aspiration is actually to be the maker. He really enjoys um, making things. He really enjoys woodwork. He really enjoys um, using the machine that came with Eco Lifestyle, although I don't like that it's a machine. I prefer if it looked like something a little bit less modern, but he does do the fabrication skill a lot. He really loves building things. It just really makes him super duper happy. Just, you know, creating a carpet or a chair, it literally makes his whole day and makes him feel so happy happy and ambitious. He is also a huge goofball. He's so funny. Beatrice is more of like a cheerful one whilst he's more like a very jolly, I guess, kind of funny person. He's always making jokes. He's always laughing. He is just amazing to be around. Like you have Beatrice who's so cheerful and happy and you have him who's always making jokes. So they're both like two rays of sunshine all the time. I think when they have their child, they pro they'll probably call it sunny or something or like sunshine because <laughs> they're just so nice. Yeah, he is a huge goofball and he also has the the maker trait as i said he really loves making things really loves building things and he's also an animal enthusiast he loves animals as i said chickens and bees are his favorite just like Beatrice and he also does take care of the bees they kind of do it together because they both just love them which I think is just so cute and <laughs> so unique um I feel like the the bees are quite overlooked in the sims 4 they came with seasons and I just I love them so much so I'm glad that I made a plum townies which kind of <laughs> it kind of was based around that so that is actually not the end of Bertie although those are his three traits I he does have more to his personality he loves and I mean loves to cook and bake I'm not even kidding. It's like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. He loves cooking. He loves barbecuing. Summer is also his favorite season because he loves when summer rolls around and he can be barbecuing all day. He adores baking. He'll always be making you some really lovely baked goods to eat. Beatrice hates cooking and baking, but Bertie loves cooking and baking. So he's always the one making the meals, making cakes and stuff, which is just so awesome and yeah he's just like really that's that's what he likes as i said he also really likes woodwork and i think those are all of his um likes and dislikes as i said he's not too into um gardening as much as beatrice is but yeah that is bertie and that is kind of who they are they're just a really loving amazing couple like their neighbors always say how lovely they are because they're always bringing over food always like inviting them over to have dinner and stuff they're just really incredible people and I, i'm thinking of making them my new current household though i'm not going to promise that I am definitely really really tempted because I just I really love them a lot and I think they'd be a good current household although I made them as townies <laughs> um but yeah I'm just I'm super duper proud of how they turned out and they also have three cats they are cat people they love dogs don't get me wrong but they they prefer cats so they have three cats they have honeycomb then they have oh I forgot what I called her they have two girl cats one boy cat I know the boy cat is called buzz like a bee um <laughs> I know we have honeycomb but I forgot what I called the last one, um, so I do apologize. Or like, not the last one, sorry, like the middle cat or whatever. But either way, they're all really, really cute. They're very friendly and they're just, they each have really adorable personalities. And I put each of the cats in a little knitted jumper because I like to imagine that Beatrice knitted them jumpers. She's definitely that kind of person. She knits her cat's jumpers and that's just incredible and cute. And I absolutely love her for that. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically the Bumblebees, a very wholesome family living in Brindleton Bay. Or of course they can live wherever you want them to live. I hope that you do like them as much as I do. I am in love with today's Plum Townies and I really, really hope you are as well. They are on the gallery under my origin ID Real Plumbee. If you would like to go ahead and add them into your game and if you're interested in their trade files if you'd rather add them into your game that way i'll be linking those in the description box down below as well and if you ever have any concepts or ideas for plum townies do let me know them in the comment section down below i'd love to hear and also let me know what you thought of today's trade sim and if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video